Hey everybody, it's Jeremiah here, and today I'm bringing you guys episode 7 of Crash of the Titans on the Jerry Plays thing on my channel or whatever. Uh, this is episode 7 on YouTube, but we're in episode 15, so we're halfway done with this game. Well, nearly halfway, I should say. Um, but I have a new co-commentator with me. Uh, it's a good friend of mine. I met him at PAX and everything. Uh, yeah, you can introduce yourself. I'm gonna ask you some questions and shit while, we, while I play through. Alright, cool. Hey guys, this is Rayfist, also known as Brandon. Yeah, also the guy that I didn't know who I was friends with for about a year or two this entire time. <laughs> they used to tell me, like, yeah, you used to leave, uh, like, sm like smuggish ass comments on my videos or some shit like that. But on Facebook, it's you were, like, the complete history. opposite or something like that. Yeah. I don't even know. So I, w I left smug ass comments on your videos as Rayfist. Yeah. And when I talked to you on Facebook as Brandon, you didn't know that was the same person. Yeah. That's really pretty funny how that shit works. But, uh, yeah. So we're in episode 15, Community of Horror, or whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, my boy Brandon here actually hasn't played, uh, well, he's played Modern Warfare, but I'd say a small percentage of it. But he's not really too familiar with these games, so I'm just gonna ask him a few questions in regards to the Crash series in general overall. And about these games and I guess his insight based on what he's observed and everything because he's seen me play the sequel to this game Mount of a Mutant Titans I'm not too sure and I would show my screen on discord but it would lag and I don't got time for that technical bullshit that we had in the last two episodes it was still all right episodes but yeah so hi how did you even get in introduced to the crash series in the first place uh, it's not like the most, um... Interesting story, it doesn't matter, just tell me anyway. Interesting story, but, uh, um, yeah, my dad got a PlayStation 2 for us, and one of the first Crash games we got, believe it or not, was Crash Bash. Very oh. weird first Crash game. Yeah, but yeah. That was one of the first, but, um, eventually, what, what made me get, what made, excuse me, what made yeah. me hooked on the original trilogy was when my dad got me, um, Crash Warped. Cause that oh, game right. was really fun mm -hmm. and I didn't and then eventually I got Crash 2 and then Crash 1 I played in reverse and yeah I could never beat Crash 1 as a kid that, that game was really oh, hard yeah. for me as a kid mm -hmm. um, but uh Crash 2 I, I love the shit out of that one and it's still my favorite to this day. yeah that's that's my favorite uh, Naughty Dog Crash game Fuck, yeah, I'm getting jumped. It, it seems like it's a lot it, it seems like it's a lot of people's favorite um, uh, can I talk about my history with like the later titles? Oh, After go ahead. I don't care. One? Yeah, free freestyle talk uh, is whatever you want. I'm about, <laughs> all talk right, about whatever so you want. I did get I did get Wrath of Cortex. Um, yeah. As a kid, I actually really liked it. Right. Um, but as you grow older, you start to notice issues. Uh -huh. And there, my problem with Wrath of Cortex is that there's way too many vehicle levels. Uh huh. And I think the pl there were some okay platforming levels in there. I think there were some all right ones. Um, I didn't get Twin Safe for a long time, but eventually I did get it, and I did like it at the time. Right. Um, I just, and I think it's okay now, I just don't like the fact that it's missing a good portion of what was supposed to be. And, you know, that sucks that it got rushed, because I, I, I feel like it could have been a really big game. Right. Um, oh, I completely forgot Crash Team Racing. Uh, oh, yeah. I like that game a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, never played Nitro Kart. Tag Team Racing, I only played a few minutes of. Now, yeah. I did play Titans, and I did beat it. Oh, many shit. Years ago. Oh. Many years ago. Okay, so you have faint um, memories of this game. I thought you never played this shit. Oh, that must have been somebody no, else. No, I've played Titans. Oh, alright. No, I've played Titans, but it was many, many years ago, and it was on the PSP. And, oh, yeah. Uh, I, still have, I still have my copy, actually. Uh, it is a very colorful game, uh, and I did like it when I first played it. I don't dislike it. Yeah. Uh, I, um, it's just been a while, and I just remember at the time I was kind of going through this, this sort of uh -oh. protest phase. Uh-oh, yep, I knew you were going to say that shit. Yeah, go on. <laughs> where, I, where I was just like, yeah, uh, I don't like all the combat, and, mm -hmm. uh, Crash is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Now I don't really care as much, and I'd actually be interested in revisiting these games at some point. So that's basically my history. Oh, the Game Boy Advance ones. Forgot about those. Like oh yeah. Those two, like them. Dude, Entrance so, is my yeah. favorite uh, in the series, actually. Yeah, Entrance is really good. I, I played more of the Huge Adventure though. That was the one I played a lot of. 
Yeah, it was like a mixture of both of me because I grew up with my cousin. His name is Gerard. That's still that I'm still in contact with to, to this day. Uh, oh, I got the sludge skin, sweet. But um, yeah, I talked to him still. But uh, he's the one I grew up with because he had two Game Boy Advances, P's for his uh, his sister and himself, and he yeah. had the huge adventure Crash Bandicoot Purple and uh, oh, what yeah. you call it? Uh, entranced, yeah, and entranced. Yep. I, I actually completely forgot about purple until you just reminded me. Um, yeah, it was the crossover with yeah, Spyro. That one was kind of bad in my opinion. Go on. I'd like, I like, I like to hear your uh, thoughts on it. Well, like, I don't know. It was weird because, like, I remember, like, here's my history with that one. When I was okay. little, and, like, I was excited over it because I like Spyro a lot, too. Right. I was excited over uh, hearing the crossover. I was like, whoa, these two are going to be crossing over? Like, I, I got to get this. Right. Um, I was more of a Crash guy at the time, but mm -hmm. uh, eventually I got the game. Uh, I played a few of the levels. I reached this one mini game that really pissed me off. Traded in for Sonic Advance 3. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Holy I shit! I was really pissed. <laughs> that escalated mad quick. <laughs> Damn, um, bruh. Well, I. Actually, I did look back because this kid gave me all his Game Boy Advance games and that was right. included in it, and it, it's not god atrocious awful, I mean, it's made by Vicarious Visions, it's just, um, it's weird. Like, it's weird because you wouldn't like expect platformer. two plat- you wouldn't expect two platforming characters to cross over for a minigame based title, it just, like, yeah. it's odd. But that's the thing. You've also got platforming elements in there, so it's like, what does it want to be? <laughs> that's, yeah, that's it's situations like that, because it's situations like that where I feel it's per it's perfectly appropriate to uh, to think, you know, a game is having an identity crisis. Because you got two platforming yeah. characters, but they're fucking playing nothing but motherfucking mini games. So it's like, <laughs> yeah. you know, you really don't know what it's trying well. to be. I mean, it's yeah, clearly a mini game um, collector I... collection, but at the time, mm -hmm. you don't, you, you genuinely don't know what it is. You genuinely, you genuinely do not know what it is. But because you're a kid and you're gullible and you like Crash and Spyro, you're gonna get it because it's Crash and Spyro. But as you get older, you'll realize the big uh, discrepancy with the uh, title because it's inconsistent to how the characters truly are. Yeah. Essentially. No, it, it doesn't really make sense like why they did that, but. I don't know, like, it's just what I did. I'm glad I got that over Spiral Orange, though, I'll say that. Spiral Orange looks really bad. Yikes. Um, but, uh, I, yeah, so, I got Sonic Advance 3, and I will say I was very happy with Sonic Advance 3. I think it was pretty awesome. My fucking but, uh, giant yeah. titan god just died from stupid battlers and both. My game, like, stuttered really hard. We don't need no any more mojo oh, anyway, damn. since, uh, well, I already yeah. finished the game, so it doesn't matter. And we missed the damn spy bot, yeah. but whatever. <sighs> no, I'm still well, in episode. Like we're doing, uh... A speed run. Yeah. Speed running was really not well. my thing when it came to Crash Bandicoot, because Crash Bandicoot is not meant for running through a level. That's it's for fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. Crash Bandicoot is for precise platforming <laughs> and patience. Yeah. That's of how course. I feel. So. And that's, that's the reason why I felt weird about time trials being added to Insane Trilogy, because although they're not terrible, except yeah. for the lab, fuck that level. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> Crash 1 and 2, it just felt weird, because with Crash 3, at least they kind of had it in mind. There's not too many instances of waiting for platforms. But in right. Crash 1 and 2, like, there's many instances where, you, like, su like, Sunset Vista, you have to wait for platforms to come down, you gotta wait, and you gotta go up. Etc. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Yeah, time trials are a little I mean, uh, I'm glad they were added. I don't have a problem with them being added. It's just um I don't know. Like it, it feels weird at times. Alright, I'm done. Uh, yeah. I finished episode fifteen. Oh, oh nice. yeah. Man, I'm trying to imagine if this game was put on PS4, like what the fuck would the trophies be? Because you already kind of get achievements in the game as well, it is. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Like, Isn't there like achievements based on how many enemies you kill? And, yep. like, yeah, and the combos and yeah, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. 
All right, now we're going to go to episode 16, so let's begin. Uh, we're not even... Oh, well, now we're 10 minutes in this episode. Um, so it's safe to say, like, episode in the next... 16. Wait. Timber trial. Hold on, is there a cutscene? I don't think this is a cutscene. Yeah, we just hop straight into the level. Okay. Uh, this level's fucking beautiful. All right? I don't want to hear... It. No, again, I, I think... No, you'll see it in an episode. I think this is definitely, like... Okay. One of the best, um... I'd argue to say it's probably the best looking Crash Bandicoot game. At least on PS2. I mean, you know, I know we got the Insane Trilogy on fucking PS4 and all that bullshit, but Titans, like, yeah. artistically, it's just really interesting. I like it a I lot. I was looking at some of those jungle environments, I was like, damn, like, I can't believe this is on PlayStation 2. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Apparently, the game actually runs in 60 FPS on the Wii. I know Fred told me that. Yes, uh, that was the one I had along with the PSP one. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, me and my brother actually played that one. We did co-op. The co-op for uh, Titans is really fucking cool. slept on. Seriously, it's really fun because you could uh, you could either because I played it with my cousin at one point. Uh, you could have like yeah, uh, the backpack mode where like if you hop, it's like I think it's Leapfrog or some shit like that. Uh, if you jump on yeah. the ground, the other player has to move afterwards. I don't know how to explain it, but it's pretty much like uh, you go and then I go, like automatically. It's like instantaneous, sort of. Oh fuck! What the heck? Oh, oh shit! I, I died. Interestingly enough, I don't remember that, so maybe I didn't pick that mode. I just did normal co-op. But I remember, um, I remember for the second player, um, the person, like it's just a crash recolor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, carbon. Like, or carbon crash. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just make. Coco kind of another uh like a like a, a skin a echo fighter so to speak like yeah. fucking smash ultimate you know before <laughs> smash ultimate i don't know why they didn't just think of doing that because in the 360 version you can play it you can play with uh coco no fucking problem but on the wii the wii and even the wii version oh, i think really? yeah but on the ps2 you can't do in that titans? shit yeah no no okay not in titans in modern immune i'm thinking of modern immune but oh wait 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 oh yeah, fuck I'm retarded because fucking in Titans she's like the, one of the main important pieces of the goddamn plot because she's kidnapped so of course you won't be able to play as her oh yeah stupid. she got kidnapped right 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 and and Crunch is frozen and I forgot mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that would make sense then mm -hmm. what's your take on the uh, the, the uh, character designs yeah oh my take um... yeah what's your take on the character designs Hmm. Okay, well, I, I told you that I at one point didn't like it. I, I don't really hate it. Um, I think they look pretty good. Uh, I don't think I have too much comments on that, just because, you know, characters evolve, and it might not go well with everyone. Yeah. Uh, which is understandable. Some people don't like how, like, his tattoos and how his hands got bigger, which apparently there's an in- not an in-game explanation, but there's, like, a cutscene somewhere that explains how he got that transformation. Um, so I don't mind it. I, I think it's fine. Well, all I, all I can really tell you That's is, because I told you, because I told you this before, when, uh, when Crash, Jack, when Crash gets on an enemy, his tattoo patterns appear on them, so there's a bond already formed once they're possessed by Aku Aku, and it's because, uh, of the mojo, um, well, okay, how, how the fuck should I word this? Okay, so the mojo makes Crash stronger, mm -hmm. and... Which each t with each titan that he possesses, he pretty much uh, again he oh fuck that was close. He bonds with them, so there again it's like it's it's like Mario Odyssey except it's for Crash Bandicoot. Think of it yeah. like that. So yeah, yeah. no, I, I get it. He's mm -hmm. like possessing them. Yeah, um, yeah. I was gonna say something. Oh oh, there is only two characters where I didn't like the design, just two. What? Um, and that's that's okay. I think you saw this one coming. Tiny Tiger. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't like. I, I, I don't. Weird, I don't but... even mind his design. I think it's the voice that doesn't fit his fucking yeah. <laughs> like demeanor. I know it's not Mike Tyson actually voiced him. Someone corrected me on that actually, but there was a lot of jokes regarding that shit. Whoa! What the fuck? I just glitched above the fucking exit of the level. That was weird as shit. Oh really? my god! Yeah, that shit was weird. I finished the level, but like, I flew above. <laughs> Just wait till you see that shit wow. in the video, bro. It's just weird. I'm but yeah, we very interested. Yeah, we finished episode 16. Now we're on to 17, 18, 19, and 20. So 
I'm gonna do 17, do 18 and 19 with my boy Crow, and then I'm gonna so I'm gonna do 17 now. Uh, do 18 and 19 with my boy Crow, and probably do um 19 and 20 with uh my boy Cal, cause he's gonna be a guest on here. Hopefully, I'm gonna try to get him on here. All right, cool. Yeah. All right, now uh, we're on episode and there's 17. one more. All right, what's up? There was one more uh, character design I wasn't too episode fond of, Uka Uka? and that was Uka, Uka. yes, yeah. Um, just cause, just because he really doesn't look like himself at all. Mhm. Mm oh, uh, you know what? I see why you said that because with Aku Aku, like even though he looks different, he still has like that palette. He's he still has like I can still tell it's him. Right. And at this point, yo, like you can't really nobody can really. I don't think nobody can sit here and say that Grim Eagles is not like. A good Aku Aku, because he started voicing uh, Crash, not Crash, what the fuck, Aku Aku in Crash of the Titans or Crash Six, if you want to call it that. You know, yeah. Aku Aku wasn't voiced by Grim Eagles uh, in the past titles. At least I don't think so. I'm pretty sure he wasn't. No, I don't think he was either. Um, just going off the voices, at least. Yeah. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, I gotta get this but fucking eel the Titan. Acting. The voice acting. What about it? I think it, I think it's good for the most part. Or, yeah, me too. I, I have no problems with it. Yeah, Debbie Derryberry, Debbie so, Derryberry still voices uh, Coco. Uh, Grim Eagles voices Aku Aku. Aku Aku wasn't even in Tag Team Racing actually. Now that I fuck, I keep forgetting that for some weird ass reason. I don't know. Yeah. Loki keep thinking that he's in there. I mean, he's in there, but like as a fucking like a, a stage. Like a, a optional stage hazard or some shit. Like you, you get, he, he's holding targets. He's pretty much a target that you can just you can destroy. And plus, Wait, um, in which question? Uh, tag team mercy. He's in Tiki Turbo. Okay. That track. Uh, but nah, I feel like that's an underrated crash game that nobody talks about. I forget about Titans. I don't. I'm mean, not Titans. Uh, Bash. I just don't fucking. I, I, I don't know. I don't really care about Crash Bash that much. But Crash Bash was like, and I, like I like party games, so it's not like, it's not like I cared about that. It was trying to beat the Mario Party. I just think like, at least the single player aspect of it was very like not good. And cause like, it's like oh well, you don't like this mini game where you have to deflect these balls into the goals. Well, why not do it again? Except it's a little harder, and you're in the sky this time. That was my problem with it. Oh, it shit. just kept recycling stuff like over and over again and it just got tedious and if you're trying to get 100 percent on that game good fucking luck <laughs> yo you gotta play every mini game three times <sighs> it's a pain yeah dude i think you actually need to like i actually think you need to 100 not, not even 100 200 percent that fucking game for completion yep that's fucking yeah, nuts, it's ridiculous it, it, it's the only crash game of the ps1 series that i just didn't i didn't do it couldn't do it that's hilarious, bro. Yeah. Uh, I think some of the ideas were cool, though. Like, I really like the uh, the mini game where you're on the polar bears on the ice and you have to knock each other off. I thought oh that was yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's pretty similar to uh, one one mini game in Mario Party. It's clear that Crash Bandicoot was uh, like inspired by Mario. Inspiration starts everywhere. Oh, of course. But like, man. Some people I say. Um, some people say what? Oh, go on. No, what are you gonna say? Uh, well, some some people say Donkey Kong Country. Like it was inspired by that. So I don't know. Wait, wait, wait! Donkey Kong Country was inspired by Crash? No, 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 no. Other way around. Oh, Crash the fucking. By Kong. Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. It definitely was. No, it definitely was. I feel like Donkey Kong and Sonic the Hedgehog are the main big like like series to inspire the crap the Crash series. Oh shit! Is there a cutscene? So you little insects actually made it. Well, I've prepared a little treat for you. <laughs> no, probably not food crash. A bad treat. Oh, it's a bad treat, all right. Tell me, Crash, do you remember the Evolvo Ray? Let's see what happens when I use the Evolvo Ray on myself.
Alright, so now we're at a boss. We're fighting fucking Uka Uka. I hate this stupid fucking boss. This is actually a boss of one of my good homies, one of my good supporters, J Bills Games. Shout out to you. Uh, he actually can't fucking like beat this goddamn boss, which is why he doesn't really like. Uh, he, he hasn't finished this game, which is hilarious. But this boss is fucking frustrating as dick. So I don't blame him. Like, those lasers are impossible to fucking, like... I don't think you can spin those back. So what you have to do, essentially, is block them. I, I think you can block them. I hope you can. I'm not 100% certain. But, uh... We are gonna need this... BAT! Oh my god! Yo, if, when you see this shit, you'll understand my motherfucking pain, bro. Well, you know what? I, I think I remember this boss, and I remember it being the most unfun part of the game. And I remember, don't you have to, like, jack other titans to, like, attack him? Yes! Your, like, That's what I'm doing right now, bro. Yeah. And I remember, like, every time you try to get a titan, he just, like, kills it before you can. Yup. Yeah, it's trash, bro. Yeah, it's real trash. Yeah. Alright, there we go. We actually got on him earlier than I thought. And holy shit, I love that animation that, uh, like, Crash does when he, uh, jacks onto Uka Uka. Because he, like, he, like, swings across his arm like a monkey and shit. It's really fucking cool. <laughs> Whew, that was close. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got him once and I got two more generators to destroy. But I'm waiting for more titans to appear so I can... Okay, there we go. Now, one... Oh, shit. Hold on. This nigga shooting his lasers. Oh my god, bro. Yo. <laughs> bro. Oh god, it's not pretty over here, bro. Holy crap. I'm like getting hit left and right. I'm finna save state or something, bro. Actually, I don't think there's a point because I can... Oh shit, hold on. Oh my god. Dude. Hold on. Okay, that's... that's okay. I gotta concentrate, bro. I'm probably not even gonna talk. Uh, I'll, I'll stay silent for the time being. Yeah, bro. This shit is fucking annoying as dick. <laughs> ah. Oh, God. It's like when I block, bro, his hits have so much stun. It's... Yo, it's not even fair, my nigga. You got these other titans hitting me, bro. What the? F oh my goodness, fam. Okay, this is undoubtedly the most weakest titan out of all that I need. I hate this fucking boss, though, because it requires a lot of, like... You need, you need to be on your fucking toes, pretty much. Shit is annoying, bruh. And the thing is, the camera's so far zoomed out that you don't even know when the fuck the, 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 the dude is gonna, like, make a next hit. Or anything like that. So you really gotta be, like, near him and shit. And the, one of the Titans just ran away from me, bruh! Oh my goodness, bruh. I'm finna have to edit this shit. Cause this is ridiculous, fam. Yeah. Oh my god! Alright, okay, huh, oh, whoo, okay, I got him a second time. Finally, alright. One more hit and this nigga's down. Yeah. Alright, jack him once more. You got, I gotta jack him three times. Alright. And now yeah, this dude good. is shooting his stupid lasers again. Let's get some mutants in here. Alright, so the trick is to get the fucking eel titan, then get then hit the fucking bat titan, then use the bat titan, since this nigga's the strongest in here, well, the second strongest, I should say, to hit Uka Uka. That's pretty much the that's pretty much what, what you gotta do. But what I can do also is oh shit. Oh shit, it didn't work. Fuck me. Oh it didn't work Bro, I got clapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I what stood in front of the I stood in front of the fucking uh, generator thing because his lasers would just hit that So his hits wouldn't yeah. hit me uh, His lasers wouldn't hit me. I mean Yeah, so I tried to like Kind of cheese it a bit, but 
It didn't work. That's what I get though. But nah, that's still. Nah, you were thinking logically there. Yeah, <laughs> thinking logically. <laughs> nah, this boss is ass, bro. I hate it. I would have done the same thing. Like, oh, if I hide behind something that you know isn't open, then his laser will just hit that. But no, I clipped right through. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing. I keep getting interrupted, bro. This shit is annoying, bro. It's like I got the eels on me, and then I got this these stupid motherfucking these. Oh my god! You know what? Look, and this nigga can't even block. What the heck? That's the first time I've seen the Uka Uka block, bro. Shit is crazy. All right, I think I can do something now. Bro, come on, dude. This is stupid, bro. Jeez. This boss is trash, fam. All right. I'm gonna beat this nigga, I promise. I believe you. What the fuck? This nigga has super armor? Are we playing Smash Brothers, bruh? What? What? Bruh. The eel has super armor. Yeah. Oh my god, bruh. The eel has super armor when he uses his special, bruh. You can't even interrupt it. But yet, yet the bat can get interrupted. This doesn't... This ain't adding up. Like, at all. I remember it being this stressful. I remember struggling with it, but yeah. Oh I'm gonna do some heavy cutting to these parts. Hey, I mean, I got a skin, so that's that's cool. Can I hit this nigga, bro? Oh my Christ! Oh my God! Come on! Come on! One more hit! One more hit! Yes! Okay, I got him the third time. Oh, let's go. Oh. I gotta get right, these niggas out my way, though. Generator. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. God damn, fucking giant log. Are you- Oh my god, dog. If I don't destroy this- Bruh. Bruh. Yo, I almost didn't destroy it. Alright, I'm a mute. It's a cutscene. You think you've defeated me? I'll get the last laugh on you fools. Any moment now, Nina will launch the robot, and Wumpa Island will be doomed. You monster. And Nina will have no more use for your lovely sister, so she's finished too. I get the last laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing now too, just in case. Quickly now, Crash. From here, we must travel to the robot. I can sense Coco, so I'll get us as close as possible. Get ready. Fortress and that is my robot out there and I threw up in my mouth. Sorry, Uncle. But with Coco forced to help build the robot, Crash and Aku Aku can't possibly stop me in time. My Duminator is almost ready, and when it destroys Wumpa Island, I won't even let you watch. No, but I love watching things get destroyed. Oh, you're awful. Thanks. <laughs> All right, cutscene's over, and uh, yeah, that boss can. S oh, that oh my, that is the <laughs> worst boss in Crash history, bro. Oh my god, bro! Like you really need to like. 
holy shit all right so that was episode 17 we finished episodes 15 whoa 15 16 17 uh yeah so that's three episodes that i finished in one episode on youtube and we have three more to take care of in the next episode i'll be taking care of episode 18 uh and 19 and i'll save 20 for its own episode since since theoretically this huh, wait a minute all right this would be part seven on youtube which means the next part after that will be part eight so i'm gonna finish this in nine or eight parts on youtube pretty much sort of something like that i don't know but yeah but I, I beat the boss and we don't we don't have to see uku uka's dumb ass again anymore <sighs> jesus all right uh is there anything you want to say uh before the episode ends because i'm about to end it and i want it to be super long uh, thanks for watching, guys, and take care. Oh, wait, yo. Y'all need to go to his channel. If you're a fan of Persona, watch his newest video. His, uh, what was it about again? So, in my, I discussed the elements of the classic Persona games, one in the two duology that I'd like to see return in the later title. And, um, I guess I'll just plug my stuff in a little more while I'm here. Um, I like to talk about RPGs, platformers, and fighters usually. You can follow me on Twitter, Wraithus090. And I don't upload frequently on YouTube, but if you want, you can check my stuff out there. So, yeah. All right. Well, yeah. So, that was that. Uh, Brandon, thanks for being on this episode with me. And uh, Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll be taking on episode 18 and maybe 19 but 20 will definitely probably be its own episode because that boss isn't particularly easy either but it's also not fucking stupidly frustrating like episode 17's with uka uka so uh i'll try to get a new guest in the next episode as well uh and then for the last episode of the series i'll try to get another guest as well so yeah my dog's barking i don't know if you can hear him but yeah He's, he's barking now, but at least it's at the end. So, yeah, I'll see you guys later. You guys have a good day, and be sure to post some comments, some questions, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. <clears throat> All right. Peace out, everybody. Goodbye.